Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are y'all doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. I'm a little sick, clogged up. Uh, all my all my nostrils, everything is kind of, they were totally clogged up, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I'll do my best, right? I'll do my best in talking, explaining stuff. What we're going to work with today is a little bit of the character class. Now this class is going to, like I said in the last video, hold everything that has to do with uh, your character, all the level, everything, and we're just going to have to figure out exactly what we need. So this is going to be some core stuff here, and the core stuff, what can that be? Well, we're going to have a string at least name that we know. Every character should have a name. Uh, and then, uh, good, okay. Uh, then we're going to have a... I don't know if you want a description and stuff. Sure, you could have that if you want. I'm not going to do it here, I think. Uh, if you want to go hardcore in the role play stuff, <laughs> you can just go ahead and do that. I'm not going to do that, guys. We're chilling here uh, in the level because I'm going to do all the fun stuff. I'm going to do all the level EXP shit. EXP, we're going to have vitality should probably be first. I don't know what kind of letter that is. Shout out to the country that comes from. I still haven't fixed the tab thing. I don't know where to do that. I'm going to have to check that out. All right, so in case you guys actually want to know this, I didn't think about that. But uh, if you guys want to change that option, I don't know who messed this up, but you have block indenting and you have smart indenting. I'm not sure which one of these I want to try. Probably block is good, uh, but let's just uh, let's try let's try smart indenting here. Okay, so now every time I go down, okay, all right, then it's kind of it's kind of going down by itself. Now that that's fixed, int HP. Uh, let's see what else we want. We want in damage, just some simple stuff. Int accu accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. Was that correct? Okay, accuracy. Uh, int defense. Uh, poof. Okay, what is this gonna be? It's gonna be some. Uh, it's gonna be some uh, general stuff like gold, all that crap. Cause we need that gold in gold god damn there's that i again in gold uh what else do we need int int i don't know what else can we need uh we'll figure that out as we go along uh, probably some inventory stuff anyway gold is fine defense accuracy hp hp max damage probably gonna need a damage max here as well um Okay, that's not that clean, but we can clean it up like that, I guess. Something like that. Uh, looks fine. Then we have level. Also, we're going to need an int skill points or stat points. Uh, attribute points. Let's just keep it at that. So we can add to our attributes. Attributes. And it's just going to go ahead. Uh, stats. <coughs> Cool, cool. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's fine. Now we have a bunch of general stuff here. Let's set all these equals. Let's give us four, three of these as we start off. EXP is going to be zero. EXP max is going to be, what is going to be? Zero? No. 100 for now. We'll, we'll use the smart algorithm I use in all my games uh, for that. The tibia one, which is for unlimited leveling. Uh, we'll have one on everything here. Okay, can we do this? God damn it. Alright, I'm just gonna put that. Whoops. Oh shit. Did I do? Okay. Whatever. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, I just built it. That's what happened. Uh, cool. Unused. Field read only. Okay, fine. No, we don't want to do that. Oh, this might not work. Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Our HP is going to be zero. Our HP max is going to be 10 from start. Whatever. We'll, we'll recalculate that as we go. Uh, damage max, also an integer. This is all the tedious work we have to do, you know. Uh, okay. Good. There we go. Okay. Zero. 
zero 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 let's just put all this to zero you know what we're gonna we're gonna recalculate all this depending on this let's give us some gold so we're not super poor uh, let's give us a hundred gold let's say that's a lot uh, equals 200 gold okay uh, yeah okay that's fine there we go now we have a bunch of stuff that we can use in our character that took a lot of time uh, but here we go and a very important part of this is gonna be to print out our character in a nice nice way and to do that we're gonna have to do a two string now most of the classes do have a two string automatic two string function I'm not sure if character does character dot two string pretty sure it doesn't so we're gonna have to create our own most of the other classes do have that uh, let's do a public uh, string to string uh, okay very good oh there already is a two yeah there was I thought it was yeah okay all right uh, override exactly exactly uh, we're gonna do a public override string now what that does is it takes the old one and it makes sure that uh, return return yeah make sure that we overwrite that function so we're whenever we call it it's gonna call this one not the one that is by default uh, so yeah that's how it's gonna be uh, because we want to format the string nicely we want to make it real clean or make it look real nice so there we go that's pretty much our characters basic stuff here we're gonna have a few private functions here so private uh, calculate stats like that it's gonna be whoops it's gonna be a void function because it's gonna recalculate all of these depending on our attributes attributes yes so for example this HP equals this vitality multiplied by 10 so let's just say that's a very simple way of calculating that uh, and I want to keep these organized let's let me put vitality first here so that looks nice and clean dexterity agility okay so we're gonna calculate HP first that's great then we're gonna do this as damage max equals this strength uh, plus I don't know whatever multiply by two I guess that's a good way to put it um, like that this damage equals this uh, how we're gonna do that this damage max could be that and then this damage max minus oh shit I don't know by right, two I guess something like that we could do that I don't know I'm just I'm just winging it guys I, I could have done strength here I could I guess that is smart uh, we'll just keep it like that I just want to make sure we get some values here accuracy this uh, dexterity multiplied by two I guess might be too much we're gonna have to rebalance all this later uh, this and defense equals this uh, what else do we have agility multiply by two why does it do that get the hell out of here shit I don't like that and then we need something for intelligence you know what we'll figure that out as we go along shit there we go we'll figure that out later on but most of this is is used and as soon as character is created, this calculate stats is called, and we're good to go. And how do we create a character? Well, we're going to create it with a string name, and then if you want a description, all that stuff, uh, we'll go ahead and, and do all that for us. There we go. Okay. We're going to need a private void. Create the function here as well. Private void calculate uh, level no exp there we go and this is just gonna calculate our exp next this exp 
for example, this exp max equals uh, this level multiplied by 100. Uh, yeah. Okay, something like that. Whatever. Uh, it's something. And we're good. We're good for now. Okay, we're going to create some more functions later for leveling up. First of all, I just want to create a character and see if that works. Uh, so, for example, if I just comment this out, block comment that out, and go to our game, uh, our game here, or game state, and I go ahead and create a character here, okay, and as soon as we create the game state, this character equals new character head, that's my nickname, so here we go, uh, and then as soon as we update this, we're going to do a console.write line character dot whoops to string. So we'll just use the default to string and we'll see how that looks for us. Uh, okay. Okay, that boy, hold on. Hold on. Why did I do this in game? My bad, guys. Put this in main menu and do just copy this stuff. Control X that. God damn it, I always make all these mistakes. But that's cool, that's how we learn. That's how we learn, guys. Make a lot of mistakes in life. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's great. I don't know why it didn't print out all my other stuff. I uh, also, what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to do a private for all of these. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, so two string didn't really work. If we uncomment this, and say return this dot name. Uh, there we go. Hopefully that will work. No, it won't. It will not because it's empty. This dot name equals name. We'll set it and we'll run this. Now we'll get our name out. Okay, cool. Good, good. We like this. We like this. There you go, guys and girls. There it is. Boshed up tutorial. Very strange, lots of mistakes, but at least we got a character class running, which we can work with. And uh, we're going to have to create a character creator state to actually create our character force that we can use in our game later on. Uh, but there you go. There you go. Here we are. Moving forward. Keep working hard. Keep learning. Hopefully you guys find this enjoyable. And yeah, I'll keep working on this. But take care. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.